the first thing that we will do is we will remove what are called inactive voters. The second thing that we will do is we will now also be sending out letters to those people who have not had any contact with us since October of 2018. And on there, it will ask you if we have your address information correct, and it will give you an opportunity to respond, yes or no. And if we don't have your information correct, then you can fill in what is correct. And then the last thing that will be happen is it's called the um, National Change of Address Mailer. And you have to sign that and return it to us. If we don't receive your card, you will become what is called an inactive voter, which again, there's nothing wrong with your registration. It's just that we have to make sure that we have you registered at the correct address to make you eligible to vote in your jurisdiction. These are processes that the state tells us that we have to do at certain times during the year, but there is an ongoing maintenance to ensure that we have good voter registration records. Anyone can go either on our county website, the Cabarrus County Board of Elections, or you can go directly to the North Carolina State Board of Elections, and there are links for verifying your current registration or how you can make any changes or updates to your registration.